We're talking the good, bad, and the ugly Linder version. So when I'm sitting down and talking with people, and hopefully you in the near future, I always recommend a couple lenders that I've worked with a lot. They have similar values in taking care of customers, and they do a really good job. So we're going to talk about why that's important. So if you're thinking about buying a home, you're likely going to need a lender. So here's some simple points, some good things, and some red flags that you might look out for when talking to lenders. First off is during the pre-approval process. Red flag number one, if they're not local. The fact is, if they're not local, they don't have relationships, there's really nothing at stake. If it goes haywire, they're just gonna get another phone call and next client. During pre-approval, they should be asking lots of questions, particularly if you're like 1099 self-employed. They need to be doing their due diligence to make sure nothing goes wrong during that time frame during the loan because they can discover all of it right now if you're being honest with them and they're asking the right questions. Along with that, if they issue that pre-approval letter super quick, that might be a red flag. Unless your finances are just really easy, that could be a red flag. So when they issue the pre-approval letter, they should be giving you lots of information. If it's just the letter and really no other detail, that's a red flag. A couple of those details that they should be giving you is estimates based on your closing cost and based on the price that you've discussed with them. And then they should also give an estimate based on what you've discussed of what your payment might look like. There's gonna be variables with that, but they at least give you estimates. Particularly this is important so that when we get ready to write an offer, we're not waiting on them to give us information so that we feel well informed for that offer. So let's talk about after you get under contract. What should good lenders be doing after you get under contract and maybe what's red flags? A good lender is gonna be looking for documents. They'll need some documents from you, like tax and those types of things if they haven't already got them. But particularly, they should be asking the title company and your realtor for documents. If they're asking you for documents, that's just putting more on you. You shouldn't be doing that. Red flag. A good lender will be sending you like weekly updates. Here's what we worked on this week. Here's everything we've completed. Here's what we still need to do good lender. Along those same lines, if they're hard to get a hold of, bad lender. That's a red flag. And maybe the biggest red flag is if terms start to change. If you're under contract and they're saying, well, we're going to have to change this or interest rates changing, that's a big red flag. There might not be much we can do about it. We'll talk about it, see if we can figure it out, but that's a big red flag. And here's why all this matters. Frankly, if you're working with a bad lender, it's gonna add more stress to you, and it very possibly could cost you the home, and it could cost you more money. So a good lender is just as valuable as a good realtor. Uh, if you wanna talk about good lenders who I would recommend, I'd love to sit down with you to talk a little bit more. My info comes up next.